Hello everyone and welcome to my first unboxing of these Pokemon cards. Look at this. We have six packs of the Unified Minds. Uh, this is from the Sun and Moon set. Of course, I haven't opened up Pokemon cards since I was basically a kid. And what happened back then was I opened up a lot of cards as a kid. I was a huge fan of the Pokemon cards, mostly because we actually fought with the Pokemon cards. So I had a, I had a, I came from a big family of 11 children, and uh, I had a bunch of brothers, and we actually battled out. And when you have brothers like that, you can just keep collecting the cards and keep playing. Uh, what happened was, as I got older, I stopped playing the card game. Uh, and when I did that, I stopped collecting. I stopped doing that around Neo Genesis, and then I moved out, and I believe my parents sold my cards <laughs> without telling me. So I lost all of my cards and didn't really think about it till now. And it occurs to me, oh my gosh, I'm an adult, but I can still collect cards. <laughs> uh, and I would be collecting them not so much to play, you know, play with them as uh, anymore. But this would more like be for uh, collecting them like fine art almost. And I'm especially interested in, hold on, the old cards. Like this one, Dark Hypno. So around the time I started collecting cards was when the Team Rocket cards came out. And so I'll be especially interested in putting back a collection of the old Team Rocket cards and the Team Rocket return cards. Those are especially what I'm interested in. But I'm also going to be keeping up with all the new sets. So every time a new set comes out, my goal is going to be to uh, put a complete set together of that new uh, set, right? So let's go ahead and open these, and we'll see what it's like to edit a Pokemon card opening video. I've never done this before. So how, ex how exciting. Oh, oops. It was, it was uh, funny just putting a rig together. Here, we'll put these here in the in the camera. It's funny just putting a rig together to do this. Uh, all of the video recordings I've ever done is for my main channel, the Game Economist channel. And on that channel, we just play video games. And you use totally different equipment. So I had to do a lot of learning in order to put this together. It wasn't too bad, I guess. Oh, also, I have not kept up entirely with all of the new Pokemon that came out in Sun and Moon. I stopped playing around black and white on the Game Boy. Yeah, I, was, I played all the Pokemon games up to a point. One of the reasons why I stopped playing is because I thought, you know, there's not enough challenge in these games. They're not trying a new formula. But I still actually really love the idea of Pokemon, and I hope that the new games coming to Switch actually do well. Wow, I haven't done this in so long. All right, so I have seen... Pokemon card pack opening videos, and I believe what they start out with, they show this card off first, they show off this code, right, we'll put that to the side, and then they know how many cards on the back there are before the rare card, and they have the rare card be the very last card. Now, I don't actually know the number. Let's flip this over, and let's go through these cards real fast. I don't know how to pronounce that. Is that Marianne? Mariani? Fomantis? Uh, Ryulu? Purloin. Oh, there's the rare underneath. Joltik. Oh, interesting. So I have to be careful with how I hold the cards, I notice, because if you don't hold them steady, you accidentally reveal what the rare card is before it's time. So this is a reverse hollow. When I got into Pokemon, when I was younger, I was still opening packs, I stopped opening them just around the time they started offering the reverse hollows. So we have a reverse hollow Dratini. Okay. And then this is the rare card, Driftblim, huh? Very cool. He's evolved from Drifloon, right? Awesome, okay. And it was four cards. So you get three cards, Figaroth, Giant Hearth, and Turtoga, if I said that right. Those are uncommons, huh? And an energy card. So there were four cards before you got to the rare. Interesting. Put these off to the side. If I really get into opening card packs, I imagine I'll have... <laughs> I did not realize that was going to be so slippery. <laughs> Let's move these over there. Wow, so you kind of have to be dainty with your fingers here. You don't want to drop stuff. Let's drop this Drifloon in. And let's drop this Dratini in. One of the things I want to be able to show you guys is all of the rare cards we get from the pull. So we got Dratini and Drifloon from the first pack. Set those over there. And we'll get to the next pack now. Put this over here. It's like opening a candy bar almost, except it's not a candy bar. You don't eat it. You open it like this. 
All right, put that to the side. Here's the code. Oh, look at that. I noticed the edges of the card are not that great. Look at that. They look a little worn, don't they? So one, two, three. We'll put those at the front. And then this is the energy card. Interesting. All right, we'll make sure we don't accidentally reveal the rare. All right. Biberil. You guys are going to have to help me. Help me out with the pronunciation of these names. Let me know if I've done it wrong. Oh, look at that. The cards actually fell apart, and you, you could see what I was getting. i got to hold these tighter. So Dewblade, Aranguru, there's that Mariani again, Fomantis, Ryalu, Purloin, Joltik, the reverse hollow is Reset Stamp, and we got Slowpoke and Psyduck. How cute, man. I'm a big fan of Psychic Pokemon, if you didn't know this. So GX card. This is new to me. GX cards are... Let's go ahead and put this in a sleeve. Oops. You gotta have real dainty fingers for this, man. And then here's a top loader. Go ahead and put this in here. All right. Let's see if we can set this over here for now. Slow poke and Psyduck. We also got this reset stamp, huh? We'll set this over here. I don't think it's quite as rare as the Slowpoke slow and Psyduck. So we got four packs left. I know what my fans of my other channel are going to tell me to do. They're going to tell me to make ASMR videos. <laughs> They're going to be like, please. So can you open this from the back without having to see this? Oh my god, it's like impossible. And you can tell I'm a complete noob at opening these packs up. That's really glued together, man. There we go. Alright. Okay. So here's the code. One, two, three. That goes in the front. Here's the energy card. All right, and then let's hold these real carefully. So Swadloon, trainer card, another trainer card, Blizzard Town. There's the Magmar, you already saw him. Tynamo, Cosmog, Salandit. Here, let's adjust the camera, actually. I notice we're not in the center. See, this is why we have this practice round. Okay, Salandit. Gibble, Obama Snow, that's a rare reverse hollow, okay, and Chandelure hollow, huh, very nice. Let's go ahead and get these in the sleeves. That's Obama Snow. And Chandelure, huh? Yeah, they didn't have Reverse Hollows back when I opened up Pokemon cards. They've really changed, haven't they? Ah, there's my air conditioner. Normally, when I'm doing a voice recording for my main channel, I turn that off. Because it ruins the voice quality. I'm going to have to do that when I'm doing these. Okay. There's Chandelure. Sitting kind of crooked in that top loader. And lure. It's cool looking Pokemon. Alright, next pack. I gotta get faster at this if I open up a whole booster box. Ooh. Is my code? One, two, three. The energy card. Alright, here we are. The den, is that how that's pronounced? It looks like a Raichu almost, doesn't it? 
Luminion, Gabite, Pidove, Muna, Pikachu, Lickitung, Purloin, Reverse Holographic Pikachu, and Honchkrow, non-holographic. All right, we'll go ahead and just put these in the sleeves. Some of these, I can tell some of these are clearly not going to be as valuable. I mean, maybe in 20 years they will be. It's funny, when, when the cards, all the 20-year-old cards are really valuable, uh, but I feel like even amongst them, some of them aren't that valuable, and it really depends on how loved the Pokemon is, you know? Surprisingly, you don't see Pikachu that often for really valuable cards. Maybe it's because he's, he's too iconic or something. Like, maybe he's too well-known. People want Pokemon that are lesser known or something. Like, for example, my favorite card is actually Hypno and Shuckle and Alakazam. Well, Alakazam's pretty popular. All right, we got two packs left. It's great practice, actually. I should have done this sooner. All right, there's our code. One, two, three. Right. I guess if you ever miscounted, you would accidentally reveal the uh, rare card, probably. It's your energy card. Yeah, because you'd flip over the energy card, right? And it would actually be the rare card. An uncommon Lapras, huh? Lapras was rare back when I was opening up cards. What was Lapras was, uh, was it Fossil? I can't remember. Karate Belt. Grimsley. Alolan Grimer. Grimer and Muck are actually some of my favorite Pokemon. Actually, if you guys wanted to know the, the Rocket sets, I think I mentioned this earlier, the Rocket sets are my favorite. Hone Edge. Pikachu again. Hoot Hoot. Reverse Hollow Noibat. And Lucario. Who doesn't know about Lucario at this point? I was surprised when they added him to, uh, Smash Brothers, back when he was first introduced to Smash Brothers. But, uh, he, he ended up being a real fun character, didn't he? What was that? That was back in Brawl. Alright. Not even holographic, though. I don't know about that. Last card pack. Maybe we'll get something really good out of here. I'm so slow at this. <laughs> it's like I've never done this before. Alright. Here's the uh, code. One, two, three. The energy card. Psychic. We have Cresselia. Wow, Cresselia is an uncommon. That's interesting. Dragonair. Basculine, huh? Magnemite. Magnemite is also one of my favorite Pokemon. Slackoth with the bush. Axew. Fletch. Who is this? Fletchender? See, that's a Pokemon I don't know. That one must have come later. Stunf Stunfisk. Reverse Hollow Shroomish. And Rare uh, Holographic Terrakian? Terrakian? <laughs> Shows you how long I've been out of the game when it comes to the actual Pokemon games. I'll probably be playing Sword and Shield when it comes out on the Switch. I'll probably be live streaming that for my main channel as uh, one of the uh, main games I play on my channel. So I've been playing Monster Hunter this whole time. Maybe the late night streams will be Pokemon. Put Shroomish in a little holder here. And Terrakian. Is it Terrakian? Probably is. You guys can correct my pronunciation of these Pokemon names, by the way. There we go, into the top loader. Alright, so the main cards we got out of this set, I would say, we got a GX, Slowpoke, and Psyduck. Wow, that's actually really cute. Chandelure, holographic. Obama Snow, holographic. Oh, this is a reverse holographic, but it is rare. And then Terra Terrakian, <laughs> holographic. Oh, very nice, man. All right, and that's the end of the video. I, I haven't fully fleshed out how this channel should be run, how it should sound, but this is my practice video, uh, testing out the camera, testing out the setup, opening packs for the first time in a long time. And uh, I have a lot more coming. I have a, a booster box coming. I have two booster boxes coming. One of them is very expensive, the other one not so much. And I have some more cards in these envelopes. I'll probably open this in a separate video though. Uh, some cards I've been purchasing online to complete an old Pokemon set that I'm a big fan of. So yeah, we'll see that soon. 
Let me know what you guys think uh, of my very first Pokemon card opening pack. Someday in the future, I may be hundreds of videos into making these kinds of videos. And it'll be fun to look back and see how terrible I was at it. Because <laughs> I've learned that's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. I got old video game videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, they're like seven years old. And I look back at them and go, wow, I really didn't know what I was doing. Uh, but you got to get your feet wet or else you'll never know what you're doing. That's the only way this works. You got to go in and get your feet wet. All right. Thank you for watching, everyone.